Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Well, today we're going to be working in Keyshot and I'm going to show you guys how to use a liquid presets, but also how to create any liquid you want, right? Here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keyshot. Okay guys, well, we're in uh, Maya 2018, as you can see, and the reason for that is that I'm showing you guys the model that we're going to use in Keyshot, so I can explain to you guys how to deal with uh, liquid presets and how you can change them to create any liquid you want, right? Now, uh, this is pretty straightforward. It's a glass, which is represented by the red material. We have the liquid, a blue material, and we have a swivel stick, and I'll hit four for wireframe mode so you can see it basically to allow us to have a look once this is dipped in liquid to see if it runs all the way through and if we see that typical optical illusion effect that it looks like it's broken right so i took this whole thing here and exported that so we can take it into keyshot and let's uh, jump in and check it out here we go all right guys so we're in keyshot 8.1 pro to be exact and i'm going to go to file and import and i take my model here and I called it glass of milk, but it can be a glass of anything, basically. And here you can see that the color ID mask came in properly, right? So what I want to do first is apply a glass material. Uh, so I'm going to go to uh, my glass section here. And you have the option to use basic glass, but if you do that, you'll get something looking like this, which kind of looks off. You can tweak that somewhat by just double-clicking on it and then going in here and turning on refractive which will make it look a little bit more like a glass. But I like to uh, work with solid glass instead. So take solid glass, take the second one here, and drag that on, right? So that's our glass. And then for our swivel stick, let's do uh, plastic. So let's go in here, and we'll take this blue plastic. And we can't see it all the way through just yet because we don't have any liquid. But that's the next step. Now, before we do that, I want to explain something. And if you're working with glass or liquids, it's extremely important to make sure you have caustic settings. And for that, we need to change our light setup in Keyshot. So if you go to the light tab right now and we open that up, you can see we're in basic. And what we want to do is we want to select the jewelry. Now, when we select that, you see that it responds immediately. And that's mainly because here we have caustic settings. So we can set up caustics, we can increase ray bounces, and we can increase shadow quality. Now let's go to our liquid tab and let's see where is it right here and if we go to our uh, setup here we have basic liquids uh, pretty straightforward stuff like uh, chardonnay and whatnot uh, milk uh, mango juice tomato juice then we have a section with bubbles so it's like a cola or, or champagne or whatnot and then these two displays and textured they're more suitable for when you're modeling uh, water, let's say, uh, ocean uh, displacement, rivers, and whatnot, okay? So we're going to focus on the top two here. So let's start with basic, and we're going to just drag and drop our Chardonnay here onto our liquid, and see how that works. And it works quite well, as you can see. And let's just go in here and check our backplate, make sure that's that one. And then you can go in and check your environment, because this environment has a huge effect on what your uh, object looks like. So let's try this one. Quite different, much darker. And I think I'm going to stick with the one I had. Yeah, we'll do this one. All right. So let's say we're happy with that. Okay. And, and now we can start to play with our liquids. So if you go back to materials, and based on this basic liquid here, uh, if I change any of the values that I can look up on Google, let's say the refractive index, uh, I can have the look uh, of the Chardonnay turn into something completely different. Let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, cooking oil or something, right? So I'm going to double click on this. Now, I know that the refractive index for water is 1.33. So this is pretty close. Uh, here, for example, vegetable oil is 1.47. So let's see what happens when we change that. Now, the material looks uh, much thicker immediately, uh, but if you want to go back to water, you just type 1.33, and then you can go in here and just simply change the color. So we'll just bump that up to white, and we'll give it a second, and there you go. There it is. 
So uh, that's all there's to it. So um, if you know what the refractive index is and you know what the color is, you can basically create anything you want. Now we do have the bubble section here. For example, let's say you want to create cola, you can drag and drop that in like this, uh, which uh, looks okay. It's a good preset, I think. Uh, again, you can change those settings if you like, and it actually has bubbles in there, as you can see here. Now, I haven't managed to find anything that will allow me to increase that number of bubbles. Um, if you know how to do that, please let me know. Uh, you can change the look of the glass, by the way. If you double click on the glass and you want it to be more frosted, just increase that roughness. And then you'll get something like this. I think that looks a little bit better. So I'm going to go with that. And what I'll do is I'll change our liquid to water. And I'll do a render for you guys so you guys have an idea what this looks like, right? Now, just make sure that the roughness isn't turned on for my water. I don't think so. And that's all right. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go in and render this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It was a short one today, but nevertheless, it will help you to get you on your way with your uh, liquids in uh, Keyshot. Okay, so have fun. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.